Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Stellaris version 3.6. No hyper relays. I'm your host, Colors Fade. It's episode 3. It's the year 2229. We're blocked in. We have a fallen empire preventing any access in this direction. And we have these two things over here. We have the Enigmatic Fortress and we have a Stellarite Devourer. We need fleets in the 30k to 50k power range with the proper counters on them to get by either one of these things. So I'd like to get by. I'd like to kind of leave one of them in place or something and then you get the other one out of the way. I think the Stellarite Devourer might be the easier one to get. So we have to work on fleet power. Currently, this is what our fleet looks like. It's just patrolling. It's the meager 921. We have 1.4K up here in alloys. 40K and I mean 40 plus 40 energy credits each turn. So we are reinforcing the airships in transit. Because right now we have this going on. Let's see. Trade routes map. Okay, trade route value is 15, max piracy is 3, base protection is 2, and starbase Amgathor is giving us 18. So these guys technically don't need to patrol anymore, but we don't have much going on, so we might as well keep them patrolling. St this starbase up here has some starbase protection because of these guys. These offer, Construction complete. let's see, trade protection plus 5, so there's a total of 10 there. Which is interesting because it said what? Starbase Amgathora is giving us plus 18. How is it giving us plus 18 when these are? Oh, I wonder if the Starbase itself is worth something. That could be. Anyway, it's giving us trade protection and that's the important thing. That's what I want. So construction ship over here, you're kind of, you don't have much left to do there, do you, buddy? You're waiting for us to get some tech here, actually, so we can grab those. I'm going to move him into place. There's a science ship here. There's nowhere that it can go, and we don't have jump capable tech yet either, so. So, and there's the curator order. Hmm. What do we want to do with you guys? Maybe the thing to do is just have you come assist with research here, even though there really is no research on this planet yet. We should probably put some down. There's a job there. Get one job available. Hmm. Yeah, we're, we're going to do basically all mining of this planet, but that frees up this part of the planet for a lot of different things. So we're going to want the mineral purification plant on it. But yeah, we might want to put a lab on it. We might put a put a few labs on it actually so let's do a research lab and then build that as well get those things built up this is over here producing it's grabbing trade and it's take it should be taking it right there and this should only be going as far as that kind of want to chain these things together there we go and so what it looks like is, let's see. There's a little bit of piracy there, but we got Starbase Regor is giving us some protection. So that's good. So yeah, we're pretty set there. So what I was talking about was let's start raising a fleet to go take over those two planets. Um, yeah, let's start raising armies. It's a little costly to do, but... Okay. Oh yeah. So let's do like four there. Oh, we don't have a we don't have a general, and that's fine. I'm gonna recruit like four on each planet. Cause we're gonna go over to where is it? Right here. This system. So there's these two planets here. What do they have? They have four armies here. Garrison of 11. And these guys are tomb world people. So their population is... The these things. They have a habitability to 100% there. We could grab them. 
and integrate them into our empire, then we could also grab this tomb world over here. So, very excited about that. Oh, and there's more harvesting traps. And now we can, once it gets researched, we can start harvesting that. And that should be good. So, we'll get a transport set up. This construction ship, yep, you're just waiting there. We're not going to grab any of this because we have these. There's the Numestic Order. Winds of Fortune coming for us. So... This should probably set up some additional trade protection along the way. Because when we grab these two planets, we're going to want to have it down this route. Scientist has revealed a psychic. Jopra Wek gains the psychic trait. Show us your wares, New Mystic Order. All right. Honored Suveri, we have a very special offer for you. Numa has seen great potential in your people and would like to welcome some of your kind into her ranks. In return, these priceless crystals could be yours. Oh, so they want to wait to give them a pop and they give us crystals. No, not interested. Thanks. On Ruinam, we need to upgrade the capital. So let's do that. And they're going to need some more city stuff. I need more housing. And now that we have enough minerals, we can just start basically building things. So it's going to be good. They, these guys are short a job. Short a job. And this is a planet where I kind of decided that, yeah, food was going to be important because we're doing mining on that one, industrial stuff on that one. This is going to have to be our food planet. And do we have... Yep, we can get rid of some stuff now. We have some money. Let's clear blockers. Let's do that and switch over to, again, probably another food job. Oh, it's so nice to be back here. And are we done recruiting everybody? We are. Oh, no, not quite. We'll get ourselves a general. This will cost us a little bit of influence, I would imagine. Oh, army morale and damage. <laughs> and army morale and army damage. He's got the double... This is damage and collateral damage. Oh, I want this person. That's nice. I'm liking the psychic thing so far. This is... This, yeah, I want you all to join forces here. Merge. Yes, please. All merge. And we'll take these guys. Actually, I should have had them all merge and ruin them, but that's all right. Make sure all my planets are done building armies. That one's done. That one's done. That one's done. Good. So what we have here is what we have. Get them all merged and there we go. Come over here. 292. You guys should be able to do the job. I would think. Dull Edge, staying ahead of the curve and not allowing any fellow empires to be more than equivalent in tech. Well, please, him. yeah. So here we are. We have the tribal society. They don't like us. Tribal society, they don't like us. But we're going to conquer both of those people. Everybody else kind of likes us, which is good. Not that they could get to us right now, but still. That's a nice thing to... That's a nice place to be. So this is at eight consumer goods. We're going to need more of those soon. Birth of the Galactic Community. Yeah, we'll join. Now we're going to get communications from everybody. These guys are mechanists and xenophiles. All right. We'll do this. We want everybody to have a, a high opinion of us. So we found a couple more peeps. Nice. Okay, so what do they want? They want a non-aggression pact. Establish embassy, yes. I think non-aggression packs cost us, though. Or do they not? Let's try it and see. What is this? A member of the galactic community. The spirits have granted us new wisdom. New wisdom. Crime down. Amenities up. Okay. Planetary capital and a hall of judgment. That'd be nice. Oh, tile blockers. Let's get rid of those. We want to get rid of as many as we can. 
Although I'm not sure that I actually have. Oh, I do. I got some there. I got some dense jungle here. Oh, get to work on that. Ruinam, what do you got? You got dense jungle. Get rid of that. Okay, cool. Blocker cleared. Blocker cleared. I like that. That's nice. Okay, so this one down here. This is the black hole. Black hole sun. What, am, what was I going to do down here? Oh, I was building the shroud beacon. That's right. Okay, let's build it. I'm not sure what to put up here for the rest of it. Maybe some anchorage. Yeah, the shroud beacon. We were building it way far away. Thought that would be the smartest decision. We'll see if that's the case. So some destroyers. Don't we have destroyers yet? Oh, we're still researching. And that might be it right there. Yep, that's the wisdom. Okay. Coil gun, exotic god. Oh, this is almost done. That'll take them like a month. Yeah. Okay. They're like in city district housing for free, basically. Corvette hull hit points, frigate hit points. Oh, let's do that. Let's do that, and then we'll, we're about ready to take these people out. Let's look at a destroyer. Get rid of the auto one. Clear design now. What do I want to do? Gunship bow, or we could make a long range one with this. Yeah. This might not be the best. What's the Stellarite Devourer need? Plasma Weaponry, actually. I'm going to leave that for now. Stellarite Devourer needs Plasma Weaponry against it, I think. Diplomacy, we're entering this age. Embassies have plus three unity. Form Federation, that's nice. But we have to fight some stuff, so I'm going to go for Supremacy because I want these bonuses to ship build costs, ship upkeep, naval capacity... Um, damage versus star bases, fleet command limit, naval capacity, ship fire rate plus 10%. Yes, let's adopt that for now. The Stellarite Devourer. Just doing a little extra research on, uh, the Stellarite Devourer. So, you want it, it doesn't have shields or armor, so you just have to do as much base damage as you can. And then it's weak against shields, but it does plus 100% damage to armor and hull. So, you want to use shields. It has super high tracking, so evasion doesn't really matter, but just, you know, make it fire at a bunch of different things. So, a fleet of corvettes would, can do it at 30k sounds like okay yeah yeah so what is this oh yeah same thing not interested move along okay you guys are here let's go boys and girls so which planet is bigger this one is size 14 and this one is size 13 okay well here you go land armies turn them hostile shall we proceed yes Yes, we shall. It is time. It is time. Let's do it. Let's pause for a second and see what's going on here. Cooperative research channels. Diplomatic weight from tech. Yes, we'll support it. Pan Galactic Recycling Initiative. Diplomatic weight from economy. Pop consumer goods upkeep minus 5%. We we figure to have a strong economy when it's done, so I'm going to oppose it. The ready shield, diplomatic weight from fleet power. We'll support that. The Guardian Angels Act, diplomatic weight from fleet power minus. We'll oppose. And then Charter of Workers' Rights. Support. Okay, so those are the first things. Back to this. Our 
champions have secured a heathen planet. Excellent. All right. Stellar culture shock modifier added drastically reduces the output. Reduced ability for several years to come. That's fine. We have successfully invaded that planet. So now we get faction founded. The first strike legion. Let's see. 34% anti-autocratic. Freedom of movement. Reproductive freedoms. anti strategic freedom. Benevolent subjugation policy. Our subjects look to us for guidance and protection. And we should strive to repay their trust by respecting their liberties. Adopting a benevolent approach to subjugation will please the friends. What is our current approach to subjugation? Subjugation war terms. Balanced vassalage. So this is integration prohibited. Restricted voting. What is this? Independent diplomacy. Expansion permitted. No, 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 no. Integration permitted. See, they've changed this, so I'm going to have to figure this out. Okay, so this is Heishma. Well, 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 what do we have here? Oh, it's got a bunch of these slots. Okay. And some unhappiness, so that's fine. I'm going to give you a job. I'm going to give you some growth. You don't have a sector. Oh. Okay, what do our sectors look like? Yeah. Well then, guess what? You can be the sector capital. And I'll give you a governor. Hopefully somebody can be keep crime down. Oh yeah, so busy governing that sector. Let's go back here and switch this. I don't know how we got this person. But we're going to grab them. And then in Heishma... Go, go back here. I'm going to grab this anti-crime person. All right. That'll help with that. Now, what's this say? We successfully invaded that planet. A member joined the galactic community. The compact of Federation's end and low stability. That's fine. Now, you guys. Heishma 3. Yes. Get them. And then we can get this planet over here. And then that's it for planets for a while. How's this thing doing? Building the beacon, 300 days, okay. Our champions are making planet fall. May the spirits protect them. Oh, I think they're going to be protected, all right. Our yeah. Have a Excellent. Okay, and you guys have plenty of minerals. You have lots of minerals, so let's... Well, let's see. So they have a leader... Colony is suffering from culture shock, but they have a leader. Let's put gene clinics and science here. Actually, let's do a precinct house next and then a research lab. And then on the other Heishma, same kind of thing. We're doing gene clinics. Let's do anti-crime. And a research lab as well. Okay. Oh, and then let's take a look at... What are we going to do? We're not going to auto-designate this one. Let's do this as... Industrial world. And let's do this one as a mining world. There we go. Senate is now in session. So, we're voting on... This and everybody says, yes, yes, yes. We want the cooperative research channels to be voted on. Okay. We're currently in fifth place. In power. Oh, and we're at minus this, which I figured we would be. So, so this Heishma, this is going to be important. Get, get this industrial district built. I want to get another slot here. This is our mining world, and this one right here. Here we go. And they've got this built. The Building an industrial district. Good. Up. Okay. These things, these numbers should come up. New research, chemical plants, rivalry, the Jehetma Dominion. Okay, we need to take a look at 
all those people you guys are done you can go back here and land armies and just enjoy yourselves enjoy some r and r so let's take a look at who we have and who doesn't like us the harmonious collective the, the jehetma dominion doesn't like us the beacon is lit all right after a long period spent grasping in the dark the veil that covers the shroud has been lifted our teachers have bestowed a great gift upon us this beacon and the tunnel it spawns will surely light our way across the stars journeys from this system will now be faster and infinitely more mysterious oh it melts a shroud tongue what the heck does that okay oh the lycian consciousness you want to establish an embassy that's fine so what is this military power curator enclave and this is the shroud it goes to here Ooh, and what is this military power the locus of the shroud i feel like we should send a where is that at okay let's send a science vessel through there shall we you guys aren't really sciencing i mean you might be but let's move you over there rivalries are being declared left and right and you finally have this job to do grab that grab that what's this planet look like over here it has an abundance of those an abundance of mining ones cool hidden worlds the crew clearing the jungle from ruin emma's made a breaking breathtaking discovery deep within the forest overgrown and obscured by the lush planet life is a colossal alien space station architecturally stunning and built with technology far superior to our own it is true work of art the station appears to have crashed to the surface surviving the impact thanks to its unusual shielding capacities which our scientists are now eager to examine regrettably an archaeological excavation would prevent us from working the land until it's complete we will excavate the site well that's what we gotta do which means you my friend you're insisting research but now you're going to excavate the site so commercial pact invitation between those people ruin M. okay what do we research proposals everybody's doing their stuff here yeah, industrial sector and our number is up to plus one that's good some things finished it's not brilliant yet but that's okay they're at minus 26 gene clinics let's build the precinct houses first precinct houses here gonna finish that would be good we'll get to get this stuff knocked down then we can worry about fancy gene clinics this has one architectural agricultural district but i think what i'd like to do is switch that over to mining so let's take that and replace it with a mine on our mining world and over here they have one of these districts but we're going to take it and replace it with a industrial district the spirits have granted us new wisdom handle food through other ways corvette okay afterburners star hold afterburners yeah plasma thrusters alloy mega forges we're gonna need those federation association offer yeah so these guys are the only ones who don't like us and we have busy improving relations with the galactic vrin and busy spying on the friend the friend didn't like us to start out with so they are right there and they're at 187 so i think we can afford to switch our dip diplomatic efforts here and hopefully that will yeah hopefully this will stay this way everybody's equivalent that's nice got one superior over here we probably need to build some more ships but again, I really want to get the plasma weaponry before. Show us your where is not interested. Move away. Yeah, so if we're going to fight the Stellarite Devourer, give me this. Okay. 
Give me that for right now. And I'm going to save it as not that. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Okay. So let's go. It's a destroyer and a. I'm going to call it that. And the reason is because even though it's not doing plasma right now, it's going to in the future. <laughs> okay, archaeological site. Records on board the station revealed that the former inhabitants were deeply religious and had no contact with the outside world, which they feared and despised. Every aspect of their lives was governed by an omniscient oracle. Oh, right, who scried their destinies at birth. Divine will decided everything from their choice of partner and occupation to the minutiae of their daily lives, leaving them with little individual freedom. Most were afraid to diverge from their destined paths, as all who did perished under mysterious circumstances. <laughs> yeah. Good job, you. You're done. You can go home. Go to here, maybe. We're at plus seven. We're going to have to start selling some minerals here pretty soon. Unless we want to invest in some more. Unless we want to invest in energy instead of minerals. But I'd always rather have the minerals and sell them off, even though you're taking a loss there. That's always been my way of doing things. Because there are times late in the game when you're like, I need minerals and I need a lot of them. Compact of Federation's End. Yeah, they got the Stellarite Devourer and went, whoops. You, my friend, go through here. Travel to He's. The He's Shroud Tunnel. So can anybody go through that Shroud Tunnel? Mind wipe. Strange developments on the ISS Cal Tuman. After their recent passage through the Shroud Tunnel, the fleet commander has reported the experience of unfamiliar sensations and emotions. Their mind is buzzing with the ideas that might have come from someone else. It seems clear that something has happened, perhaps as a result of contact with the psionic energy of the Shroud. How this experience will affect their performance remains to be seen. Welcome, apprentices. At last, we can greet you properly. Though the tunnel, through the tunnel, long prepared, your passage has been felt by the shroud itself. The echoes yet shiver, rippling through the waters of the unconscious mind. Those who dwell within the mysteries of the shroud have surely blessed our meeting. You are most welcome here. Excellent. Okay. Let's do this. Um, survey the system. And then start surveying the rest of this. This looks like a place where we could possibly expand. The subtle mental changes experienced by the commander of the Kaltuman are now coming into focus. A month after their passage through the Shroud Tunnel, their command style has noticeably shifted. It is fair to say that the experience has resulted in the development of a new trait. Oh, really? Oh, he gets Shroud Touched Scientist. Oh my goodness. We may need to put him on doing research then instead of wandering around the shroud in fact wow so what's he got he's got later experience gain 25 percent survey speed 25 percent archaeological excavation speed plus 20 percent okay so so it's not he's not necessarily a research person we should have him doing the archaeology side but right now we're gonna have him survey speed Still, that's really good. And this looks like a bunch of space up here where we could actually do some things. So, construction ship, move there. We may be able to grab some more land here. And there's a Shroud Rockers has at least one station in this system. Oh, yes. We're going to expand through there, baby. And I need ship fire rate. Oh. I'm very, very much liking this origin and this playthrough. I am digging this. We get this extra stuff because of the Shroud Tunnel. Of course, it means you have two fronts to battle on, but still. I'm open borders by the Jehetma Dominion. <gasps> like us now. And they're inferior. Where are they located at? 
over here. Oh, really? Okay, so we need some tech is what we need. Oh, we're in a little bit of the minus, minus money area. Okay. Well. Oh, and you guys need a job. So do this and some housing. And then we're going to want to start building trade up. Moat harvesting traps. Yeah, okay. Commercial zones, clerk jobs, they provide trade value. Let's start seeing if that doesn't affect some things. Senate votes and past cooperative research channels, which is great. You guys up here in physics land, cold fusion reactor. Let's get that because what we need is, uh, well, energy credits from technicians would be great. We don't have a lot of technicians, so energy credits from starbase construction. We kind of need that too, but I, I want to get the Stellarite Devourer out of the way, so let's go for Plasma. It's the only way to get there. You guys, this is great. Okay. Let's do this. You're going to survey that system, and this system, and this system, and this system. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to need my other science ship in here, aren't I? You're assisting research too, but guess what? You have a new job. I need all of you guys assisting the uh you're surveying and you're excavating an archaeological site automated dreadwatt okay in that case let's do one more science ship i want to get this all done as fast as possible hostile fleets present where right there oh okay you guys might want to get out of the way it's an automated dreadnought. How powerful is it? Our science ship is beset by enemies. Science ship oh no! Now I gotta build two of them. Oh darn. Okay, so that's the automated dreadnought. Alright, let's check something. Okay, sounds like the automated dreadnought might be full of shields. I'm not sure how else. You can use the curator order to, to find out some details about it, but... I don't think we can actually do that. Destroyer, full hit points, ion thruster, research from engineering. Let's go with, let's do that since it's part way there. Terraforming gases, hmm. blockers, quick. We gotta get some more of these up here. That's unfortunate. And this, the archeological teams made an unexpected discovery embedded within the station walls as a hidden surveillance system. This seems to have been feeding the visual and auditory information to a single point somewhere within the station's core. Someone was monitoring the disciples at all time, even in their most private moments. In some places, the equipment has been torn out or sabotaged. Closer to the central hub are signs of violence and disruption. It seems as though at some point, the inhabitants discovered they were being monitored and they became unhappy about it, which makes a lot of sense. They're at 49%, so we gotta, and they're at 16 because they've got their precinct houses let's see we got to change this switch that let's do that and then here your precinct houses are up but you don't have any enforcers so let's do that that changes the situation oh well, what did for a second so because what is this stability yeah we'll get you there we'll get you there Okay, so over here on this planet, they're saying, hey, we're having a little stability problem. What do you want to do with us? Well, what do we want to do with you guys? We have other planets for the industrial stuff, and I don't want to go into a hole right now, but I think uh, one of the things we might want to do is not worry about industry on this particular planet. Well, we've got this down here. We're gonna have to switch from energy to something else. We can't do everything. That's the problem. Really need to switch everything over to food. You can sell food, so. A new ruler. We have reelected our current ruler, that's fine. Yeah, so, okay, science ships. That's too bad that we lost that guy. He got all those bonuses. Anomaly discovery chance. Okay, you're hired. 
I need you to go here. And you. Anomaly discovery chance will grab you. And you can go here. Let's try not to get killed. There's some planets right there. there one's tropical. That's nice. That's cool beans. What are you doing, construction ship? You're not doing anything. Okay, listen. You're going to come over here. In fact, both of you should be moving. Yeah. Okay, and you just arrived. Build a star base. We got 779 influence. We can do a lot of building. Oh, and we just maxed out on that. Okay, let's sell 5,000 of it. And then let's adjust, add a new monthly trade. Let's sell a little bit of this every month. What happened? Who died? A research scientist died. Oh, our fusion person died. Well, all we have is a commanding person here who has some computer speed stuff. Okay, and you're busy leading society research. We don't have a lot of specialists, so you're going to do it. it. means this science ship here is going to get a new leader. Leader experience gain. We'll take that. Okay. Did you have a job yet? Okay. One of you was set to come over here. So get over there. There was that science ship and then this science ship. Okay. So you can go here. Survey that one. That one's going to go there. And that one's going to go there. And this one is excavating the archaeology site. Okay. That sounds good to me. We have traced the wiring to a temple complex devoted to the worship of the Oracle and her clergy in the station central node, but in the Oracle's chambers, instead of a divine entity, resides an enormous AI nexus of the Oracle brand. <laughs> the Oracle brand. I love it. <laughs> it's only funny because that's the database I've had to work with for the last 12 years is Oracle and... I mean, you'd have to be a software developer to get it, but it's funny. Secret communications between the inhabitants reveal that there was a failed attempt at storming the temple and deactivating the Nexus. It seems likely the society collapsed when it became known that their lives were not governed by divine will, but by a prophetic computer. Restarting the Nexus will require extensive repairs. Yes, but we get some bonuses from that. There's a non crap pack... Oh, diplomatic communications from the Vryn. We no longer are interested in maintaining a non-aggression pact. Okay, where are they at right now? They're at 67. Ooh. I need another envoy. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. We've been doing espionage against them, but I don't think that's necessary right now. So I'm going to grab... Okay, so what you have to do with the espionage thing... Yeah, if I can... Galactic friend. So... We're at what? We're at 40? Okay. Gather information, spark, prepare sleeper cells. And that allows it to stay, yeah. Cease activity of the spy net, grant allowing its biomaster to be reassigned whilst also preventing its infiltration level from decaying. So that's the thing you want to do. Yeah, so launch that operation. I never understood that at the beginning, but it's... Oh, what was that? The Jehetma Dominion will now guarantee the independence of the Lishian consciousness. Oh. Well, good for them. We need some more of this. So we're going to do that. And this is Ruinam. Let's grab some commercial zones. The Suramo Galactic Nation. We aim to establish an embassy. That's great. Restless Systems. After its recent passage to the Shroud Tunnel, the systems on the IS are told became behave strangely. Entries in the ship's log are displayed as random. Doors have been observed opening and closing, and far more worrisome, the engine's containment field has begun to fluctuate. So far, efforts to track down the source of the problem have pu futile. Oh, well. Okay, construction ship. You did a good job there. What do we have here? I need an envoy. Uh, Lambda vessels. What do we have? Can we see them? 1.3k. Oh. They could be friendly. We're not going to go too much in that direction. Then what I'm going to do is have you go 
here, move there. You guys are voting on the pan galactic recycle buzzword standardization diplomatic weight from economy trade value. Increased upkeep goes up, but we'll support that. Tianki Conservation Act will support that. What else? Show us your wares. Same thing. Not interested. Move along. Form the galactic market. We will definitely support. Regulatory facilitation. Diplomatic weight from economy. Work, but yeah, we'll support that one, I think. Security contractors. Every mercenary enclave gains plus 10 naval capacity. Okay. Regulated growth. Dreamers awake. Strange developments on the science vessel Ersktal, a repeating pattern observed within the engine's containment field, has revealed the existence of an artificial consciousness spawned by the interaction between the ship's systems and the psionic energy of the shroud. Until now, it has existed in a dreamlike state. Analogous to the rapid eye movement some species experience during sleep, the entity's neural processes were responsible for the malfunctions affecting the ship's performance. Even more incredible, our investigations appear to have awoken it. In exchange for continued habitation within the ship's systems, the entity has agreed to work for us. In theory, a partnership could improve many of the Ersk Toll's operations. A fair trade. Hyper jump charge time reduced. Okay. We'll keep that in mind. You're surveying. You're going to survey. And you're going to survey. Actually, you need to survey this one right here. The first system we went into was the one that got us smacked around with the automated dreadnought. What's our fleet look like? 1.4k. Okay, we need at least 15k to take out the automated dreadnought. So we got some work to do there. Again, we kind of need kind of need to get plasma. We we could put a fleet together to get this guy. The migration treaty proposed. If we go here. This is the kinetic fleet. These guys should be able to do the up. In fact, if we go all kinetics on it, like that, and maybe all shields. Those particular ships should be able to take this guy out if we get enough of them. I want to build some destroyers too, I think. So this is going on over here. Fun times. You guys need some job support, don't you? Yeah, again, more your food land. You got three available jobs, two available jobs. You're happier now. You're not quite as happy. Okay. New research, more tile blockers. Empire size from pops. I'm not so worried about that. Food from farmers. It's always a nice one to have. Let's clear the tile blockers though. Espionage operation event pending. Great. Acknowledged. Commence when ready. Takes a long time for it to shut down operations there. The coil gun. Starhold. Let's get the coil gun. Can upgrade those guns before we have to go attack that thing over here. Excellent. You can go over here. Build that one there. What do you got? What's here? Go survey that and that. And there's a dead end up there. And then you can backtrack and come out here. I like this. This is fun. <laughs> We were we were blocked in, but now we have a way out, which is really cool. Very very cool. Good start to the game. System survey complete. Doesn't mean we'll be successful, but good job, system survey. You're moving right along. Okay. New, not interested. New Mystic Order, you guys keep trying, but... 
yeah, two more planets over here. That's potentially very nice for us. I like it. Construction complete. Excellent. Yeah, and so we're well over the cap now. Total Empire size 155. We gotta take some penalties, but it looks like that's just the way the game is designed now, so everybody's gonna have to take penalties, and that's fine. If the penalties are even across the board, it's like playing football in the snow. Everybody suffers. Okay, what do we have here? Pause. Unlocks research leading to zero point power. Requires fallen empire, dark matter power. Mega structure engineering. Okay. New research. So, colony development speed. Self aware colony ships. This gets you the hyperdrive gateway activation. Remote stabilization. And this leads to nothing. I'm going to get it out of the way. How do I get the plasma? I need the plasma. System survey complete. I'm going to have you guys upgrade soon, I think. Okay, science ship. You did that one. Can you go over here and survey this? Who do we have here? The Saramo Galactic Nation. Since we're close to them, what are they like? They're erudite explorers and they like us. Well, that's perfect. That's what we need. Four jobs. Oh, and everybody's happy now. Look, they're done with the culture shock. They're happy as a clam. Awesome. And this is done. Our engineers have restored the Oracle's nexus to an operation state, but not without first disabling its defense systems. Evidence suggests it may have been responsible not only for keeping the station's inhabitants alive, but also for killing them. It ran complex computational models that forecast their lives with an estimated accuracy of 75%, correcting divergences and incapacitating future troublemakers before they could disrupt divine order. It has indicated that it wishes to speak with us. Okay. The Oracle event happens in a day. Oracle manifests is an elaborate 3D hologram of a tall arthropod, female, clad in long flowing robes. Okay. What happened to the inhabitants of your station? <laughs> I have a failsafe that requires me to terminate a trial in the event of code 034N deviation. The research had become a threat to the Republic. What is the deviation? The test subjects had developed free will. Free will can only be abolished with nerve gas. Of course, that's funny. What trial? My trial. I was designed to build and maintain a society free of crime and suffering. A utopia in which every citizen was instilled with divine purpose and lived up to their full potential, unfettered by indecision and desire. Hmm, what is the Republic? It is no more. Back to our questions. Uh, we do have some rat. A skill five governor endowed with the sight joins the Suvera Spiritual Donor. You will aid in the administration of our empire monthly unity plus 10%. Or you can get a whole bunch of stuff at once. No, I'll take this. So now we get that modifier and that's great. That's what we want. Okay, so you are... Say, oh, you're done with the archaeology stuff. Good, guess what? You can come up here and join this whole endeavor over here. Um... When you go, complete. when you go, he, can't survey a system in someone else's borders. Oh. oh, okay. Well, in that case, maybe we'll do. System survey complete. Let's have you guys help with this. You can assist research on the homeworld. Okay, next in our line here, we can get. Damage versus star bases, ship upkeep and naval capacity is improved. That's what we'd like to have. So we have constructed that there, and then build that one. And you can build this one. Remember, we've got 700 of that, so we can build, build, build. And this is going to keep anybody from building here, so we just need to figure out where our borders are and... Scientists revealed a psychic. Excellent. Research speed. Research speed psionics. Survey speed. Nice. Some more bonuses. 
Oops. And we lost our governor. Our leader. Okay. We have 2,000 to elect with. We don't have enough, so we have to abstain. So we have elected Peric Fen. Shipbuild cost and speed. Great. You are just fine. Days here on the Senate floor. Everybody's going to vote to enact the Pan Galactic Recycling Initiatives. Uh, regulated growth. Monthly loyalty change plus two. Empire size from systems plus five. We'll oppose that. The spirits have granted us new wisdom. New wisdom. The coil gun. Excellent. So now the auto cannon. Yeah. Or synthetic crystal plants. Let's do the auto cannon. Migration treaties. Okay, my friends. Grab your research. You can build that. So who is this over here? It's the Mech Mech Pucks. The Mech Pucks, they kinda like us. That's cool. What's going on with my espionage here? The spy network is done. So if we go to diplomacy and say, who was it? The Lycian Consciousness. Okay. The Jehetma Dominion. These guys are... Oh, these guys are overwhelming. They have a lot of systems. Wow, we're going to want to stay on the good side of them. So the Galactic Vrin. They're superior. Diplomacy, improved relations... Busy building the spy network in the Galactic Vrin. Cannot move Envoy while operation is ongoing. So it's still ongoing. Okay. So we gotta, we gotta get back to work on them because they dropped to 49. All right, you, my friend. Go up here and survey that system. Espionage event commence operation. Operation is finished. Great. All right. Sleeper cells established. Modifier added for 15 years. So we got 15 years and then we're going to have more spies. Let's go to diplomacy. Improve relations with you guys. Construction complete. Okay. So that's done. You're going to go grab this. You're going to grab this. Lots of stuff happening here at the end of this episode. System Just survey. banging it out. Improved reactor leads to advanced. It requires antimatter power and it advanced reactor boosters. This leads to what? Space time theory. Simultaneous collapse storage. Social engineering. Quasi dimensional reflection. Hmm. Planetary faster and light inhibitors are really important. I should probably get some of those working for us. Especially because... Yeah, not interested. What else? You, you got something new? No, you don't have anything new for us. It's the Compact. Federation's End. These bozos. Closest ones are here. The X-Star Collective. They're 139. They kind of like us. So That's good. Alright. You guys don't have a leader and that's fine. Don't really need one. Let's do Anchorage here. And then what's this one? That's their year. Ah, torn on what to put there. I suppose another gun battery. See, I wish we had. Uh, this, this is no good. You're going to need. They can get in your empire this way. You're going to need to either play defense here or not worry about it at all. More declaration from the Maku Authority and the, ooh, and the Ixdar. Okay. And we have discovered a new archaeological site. In Revac. Cool. Look, this is a big old dead end up here. So if we can go get this and move over in this direction that'd be cool that would be cool okay so you mr construction ship build this stuff but you uh you need to build your stuff too i guess 
I need one more construction ship, actually. Let's go build it. Give me a construction ship. Oh, geez. Construction We're into this thing for an hour. Okay. Well, guys. That's where I'm going to end it then. I'm just going to leave it here. There's lots going on. And it, it's very, very fun. So we're in a good position up here on the board. Everything's black or white as it is. Everything's in the black. Nothing's in the red. We have the ability now to go colonize this other tomb world, which is also very exciting. We've expanded via our shroud tunnel up to here. So I like all of that. We're doing pretty good across the board here. We got some superior and overwhelmings. We got to build more ships, but we'll do that next episode. I'm... Very excited about where this is at. Everybody, thanks for watching. As always, if you dig it, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Leave your questions and comments down below. Consider supporting my Patreon, which is listed in the description below. It's the easiest way to get a hold of me and interact with me other than Twitter. If you're not on Twitter and you want to be on there, you can find me at fade underscore colors. I'll see you all next time. Until then, happy gaming, everyone.